Hello everyone, Dan here. Welcome to the first part of my walkthrough of uh, Rugrats Studio Tour. Why am I doing this, you ask? Well, I have a bit of a story behind it. See, about a week ago, I think it was last week, they were just showing yeah, Rugrats in Paris on Nickelodeon as part of their last week of Hollywood summer event. Uh, really and big. just instantly, a flood of memories started coming back to me, bringing another part of my childhood back into place. So I started playing Rugrats in Paris on my PlayStation. I remember I still have that. I uh, got that same game from if from my 64 ROM, uh, and the on the same day I was looking for uh, Rugrats Studio Tour. I was looking for an ISO somewhere and I found it, I and like I think I remember really playing this back in uh, 2000 or 2001. I think, it, I think it was around that time, and I think it must have been like uh, around the winter time when we were playing this. Sale? It was... Uh, I think it was pretty good for its time. Uh, so the those who don't know this game, I'll give you the skinny. Great. See, the Rugrats this time around are on their way to Hollywood, and Dill causes a s causes mayhem, uh, causes a scene, I'd probably say, and uh, through the this guard's keys all over the studio. So now the Rugrats have to find the keys and find Dill, who locked himself in this vault. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole premise on the game, believe it or not. I still thought it was fun, and it was pretty good, I guess. So, right here we're doing the tag scene. Here you, uh, you're Angelica chasing after the Rugrats. In a game of tag. <coughs> All right. Ready? So we have to find them wherever they are, and that's it. <laughs> I think I had fun with this one the most. It was a little tedious trying to get my way around here, but I am thankful they have a map on the screen. Uh, how I remember myself thinking of them in Neverland. See, this is what happens when you play this game and think of Disney at the exact same time. Well, of course, that's childhood for you. Oh, there's Susie. Right. Come on. Ah. Oh. Oh, all right. That was that was uncool. You're too slow. Come on, step it up. <laughs> yeah, that's what Sonic said. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, I pretty much got nothing to say. Oh, I think I see Tommy over there, and Chucky. Come on. I can use yeah. a map anyway. <laughs> Well, we got you, Tommy. Lil, dead ahead. Yep, it's Lil. I can tell. You're too slow. Ha! <laughs> I still laugh at this. Of course, that's what happens when I'm thinking of Super Smash Bros. Ball the minute I heard it. I don't know how that got so popular. But then again, that's the internet for you, causing memes. One game at a time. Or TV show. Or whatever source of material here. Ah, there's Chucky. Ha, got him. <laughs> now all we have to do is catch Phil, and we got our first key. So anyway, as this playthrough progresses, for each part I'm going to be doing two different activities. Like for instance, for part one right here, I'm going to be doing the tag game and the foot race. I think part two I'm going to be doing the, either the treasure hunt or collecting coins. I think those take about three rounds. 
Uh, I think they do. So I think each one of these will be in separate parts. And there I got the first key. Next up, the foot race. Lucky, I'm so talented. Now let's see how I am at opening doors. All right. Uh, oh yeah, that's the tag scene. I already got the key for that. All right. Hurry up, matey. Oh, uh, where is it? Time soon. Where is I'm it? I'm ready already. Let's go, matey. Ah, uh, uh, here we are. Make let's go. Way for Captain Angelico, scare of the high seas. Yeah, we get the idea, princess. All right, here's the foot race. Ready? Two laps. So for the racing yeah, section of the win. game, the cookies give you speed, the chocolate milk makes you invincible, your, and your projectiles are a beach ball and a diaper. Yep, I said it. A diaper is used as a weapon item in a race. That's what I got for ya. Okay, that was my bad. I was, I thought at that time I, going across the side would slow me down, but apparently it didn't. So I'm pretty thankful for that. <sighs> You'd be surprised what nostalgia does to you. Cause already I remember going through this, and I thought it was pretty fun to play through the whole game. So I'm doing this playthrough for the sake of going through it again to relive some glory days. If that's a good way of putting it. Oh, and you can use these beach balls for the tar for certain targets on the course. But of course I decided not to do that being the being the speedmaster I am, wanting to go through this playthrough as soon as possible, you may say. Of course, this is not a speed run per se, but uh, just thought I'd get as much as I can from the level done. I should have fueled up with more cookies. So, uh, to those who are looking forward to more Skylanders videos from me, I think I might have some more parts of my Skylanders playthrough coming up around late September or early October, around the time Giants is coming out. And uh, to keep those caught up with how my collection is, you know how those Frito Lays offers for the sidekicks? I've already got two of those. No I've got a uh, Whisper Elf and Terabyte, and I'm hoping sometime soon my other two sidekicks, Trigger Snappy and Gilrunt, will be coming in. And uh, yep, after those two, I'll be showing a video with the entire collection, including the sidekicks, showing off an adventure case I got for my birthday, and, uh, and by the time I get more for Giants, I might show off my collection by then. So that's the that's the part of the video where I go on topic just to explain something on account of not having much to talk about being a commentator on my video and uh, I think this about wraps up part one of my playthrough of Rugrats Studio Tour. Uh, yep, that pretty much wraps it up for now. Tune in for uh, part two where I'll be going through either the treasure hunt or the collecting the coins. So, uh, stick around for that, people, and, uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to stick around.